Hey there, hi there, oh there. It's Terrible Terrell here uh, with another episode of Quarantine uh, Kitchen Chronicles. We're going to be uh, doing some uh, cool stuff today, uh, but like anything, it starts with the chug. You know, uh, on the last episode, I promised you I was going to show you how to season a brand new cast iron skillet. Also going to be showing you how to make my favorite cocktail, the Terrible Terrell Gin Gimlet. Cheers. First step into cleaning your cast iron skillet, you're going to want to rinse it off pretty good. Maybe there might be a little dust that accumulated on it, or there might be a little rust, but there's going to be a little something something. This one I've been having sitting for since last summer and I haven't done anything with it. My mom gets on me every single time. Terrell, why are your cast iron skillet so dirty? So I'm going to make mom proud today. Next thing you want to do is uh, get this baby all dried out. So you get some paper towels. These things are sacred right, right around here nowadays. I'm all wimbly nimbly with it. Let me go ahead and... Uh, I can barely find any of these things. Can you believe that? It's the quarantine. <laughs> it's rare around here. Hey, just go ahead and uh, give this thing a quick wipe down. And get all the excess water out of it. You don't want... That, that's, that is a kryptonite to a good cast iron skillet. It's moisture. It will go ahead and leave rust and all kind of stuff all over it. And you don't want any of that. Once you give this thing a pretty good wiping down, we're going to go on to the next step. Next step is you're going to want to Frank Zappa, keep it greasy. You're going to put this on there liberally. Just give it a dollop because you're going to want to get it all around on your cooking surface and on the outside as well. And the most important thing about seasoning is that's where your flavor comes from. You know how terrible Terra feels about the flavor. You want to get the handle too. This is this is your baby. This thing will take care of you for as long as you take care of it. I'll tell you what, I got a grandma, she has a cast iron skillet that I've been eating off of since I was a knee high to a grasshopper. So you just take care of your stuff and it'll take care of you. One of the last steps you're gonna to wanna to do is have your oven preheated to 375. You're gonna place your cast iron skillet on the middle rack. You're gonna to wanna to make sure that uh, you got a drip pan under it. If you don't have a drip pan under it, you're going to have grease all wimbly nimbly in your oven, and that's going to be a fire hazard. You know, and you don't need that. Then you're going to put the oven on for an hour and let it sit. Now, while your uh, cast iron skillet is seasoning in the oven at 375 for an hour, coated in vegetable oil, you're going to want to fill your... Hey, I got a teapot. A lot of people don't have a teapot. Uh, you can use a regular pot, but you're going to want to bring your water to boiling temperature. Once you bring your water to a boiling temperature, you're going to want to mix in two cups of sugar. Now, see, I always say this is Terrible Terrell's way. There's no right way. There's no wrong way. But this is my way. For every cup of water, I got a little ratio. Uh, see, this is what I do. Uh, four cups of water in here, two cups of sugar. Like a little tart, and you can always season the taste. Now that your water's uh, good and ready, me personally, I like to pull it off, turn the burner off, pull the lid off, Set that aside. I come right over, I grab this, and I put my sugar right into the teapot. And I just stir it all up. And you're gonna wanna stir your uh, sugar on up in the boiling water. Well, it's not boiling anymore, it's coming down to uh, room temperature. But you might make a little mess like I did. Terrible Terrell gets terrible every now and again, especially after a few tuggies. Once you have your simple syrup all blended up, remember those limes that you squeezed? You're gonna wanna just throw some of that hot water right down up in it, into there and uh, 
give it a quick stir and let me get my stir. It's going to be hot, but if you're in a rush and have a drink like Terrible Taro, you just go in there and just it's right on point. Next step is you, you pop a seal, Bombay Sapphire. Now see, uh, Terrible Terrell always says it's a personal preference. I love gin. Gin does not make me sin, but I have got terrible on some gin. Uh, anyways, uh, Bombay Sapphire gin is what I like. You can have a vodka gimlet. You can have a gin gimlet. You can do whatever you want to do. But me personally, it boils down. Terrible Terrell loves him some Bombay Sapphire. So me personally, uh, I never use a jig. Uh, some people say two ounces of this, two ounces of that. But hey, you know, I pour until my soul says, child, that's enough. Oh, that case was about a four or five count. Actually, you know, I'm going to go ahead and give you a little bit more because it's the quarantine beer chugs and I want to give the people what they want. Okay, so, you know, you get it back down to the to the label. You know, that is a good first start to any bottle. Once you uh, poured you up to the label, you grab your simple syrup that you made and uh, that you mixed with your lime. Now you got limeade, you know. So you go ahead and toss that down in there like so. Boom. I already had my garnish in because I'm ahead of the game. You give it a quick stirring. But wait, there's more. Walk over to the fridge. Pop open the 7-Up. I like a little bubble. So you go ahead and uh, you put her all the way to the top. Cheers. That's a terrible terrible. Jen Gimlet. Quarantine Kitchen Chronicles. Boom.